Good afternoon and happy Wednesday. Uh, I'm Coach Skip, and I have your Wednesday at-home workout for you. Just going to make sure everything is on and working, and it seems to be. So uh, we're going to get right after it. So today we've got a warm-up where we're going through two rounds of four different exercises. And then for the workout, we're going to be doing a 15-minute AMRAP uh, with also with four different exercises. And so here's how we're going to start. For the warm-up, again, two rounds, so you'll go through this twice, and you're going to do 20 flutter kicks to start. I'm going to go through it all. 20 flutter kicks, 20 high knees, 10 down dog push-ups, and then 10 straight leg sit-ups. And so here's how it'll go. Starting with the flutter kick, you're going to be flat on your back, and you're just going to count that right leg each time. Keep your legs straight, keep them close to the ground, and one two, three, four, and you can get them going. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get the point all the way up to 20. On the high knees, you're going to stand up nice and tall, and this is going to get that heart rate up, get that blood pumping. Again, count that right leg each time. Right plus left equals one. One, two, three, four. Get your arms moving at the same time. Uh, all the way up to 20. Then we're going to go to the down uh, push-ups to a down dog. Uh, this is, is going to incorporate the push-up and then a stretch. On the push-up to down dog, from the hands under shoulder positions, I don't care if you're on your toes or on your knees here, you're going to go all the way down, back up again, and then get that stretch. Back down, up again, two. If you're going from your knees... Three, four. Remember, the more range of motion you put in, the more flexibility and strength you're going to build here. So 10 push-ups to a down dog, and then finish with 10 straight leg sit-ups. Straight leg straight out in front of you. You're going to go all the way back, shoulders touching the ground, and then throw those arms forward. Keep that chest up as you touch those toes every single time. Right back, right up, two, three. Just keep that chest up nice and tall. When we let it go here, that puts a lot of pressure on the lower back. So that's the warm up. Two rounds, 20 flutter kicks, 20 high knees, 10 push ups to a down dog, and 10 straight leg sit ups. Nice easy pace on this, take your time, Stretch out a little bit in between exercises, in between rounds, and that this is designed to get you ready for the workout. The workout today, we're going to be doing a 15-minute AMRAP. So what that means, AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. So you're going to go for a full 15 minutes, set a clock, set a watch, uh, grab your phone, whatever you need, and you're going to start with the 10 single leg deadlifts, Go through the 20 T-bones, the 10 crunches, and the 20 plank shoulder taps. And then you're going to go back again to the beginning. And just keep going through this. Keep track of your rounds. If you've got any kind of a whiteboard, just make a mark. Uh, if you've got a piece of paper and a pen, just, just mark every round you do. And uh, we will have an option for you to be able to put this into our Beyond the Whiteboard system uh, a little bit later. And so uh, 15 minutes. We're going to start with 10 single leg deadlifts. How the single leg deadlifts work, a lot like the good morning that we do, you're just going to go one leg at a time, go all the way down to the ground, kick that other leg up behind you, and then as you come back up, really snap those feet together, squeeze your glutes the entire time. This is a hamstring and glute exercise. And so when, then we switch legs. That's one. Two, three. Remember, right plus left equals one. So you're going to do both legs and then count that rep. Um, well, I'll go through some scales here in just a minute. One of them is really easy, though. You're just going to grab a, a step, a book, something with a little bit of height, and that way you can, you're not quite going down as far every single time and it's just the same uh, motion we're looking for next we're going to get into the t-bones 
and very similar to the flutter kick, the difference is we're going to release after every single rep. And so you're just going to go up, out, together, down. Down. Breathe. Breathe normally here as much as possible. It'll make it a little bit easier to put those hands underneath your butt. And same thing. Up, out, together, and down. Keep those legs fairly close to the ground. This is not a big movement where we're going all the way up. Uh, keep them straight, right out, and back again. So you're doing 10 single leg deadlifts, 20 T-bones, then you're gonna do 10 crunches. On those crunches, bring those knees up, hands behind the head, and then one, two, three. Just bring your elbows to your knees. If you need to move those hands from right behind your head to right at the sides and have it not quite be as far, that's fine. The T-bones are gonna work your lower core, the crunch is going to work your higher core, and then the plank shoulder taps that we're going to finish with, that's going to work the whole thing. So we're in that plank position, and we're just tapping the shoulders. One, two, three, you get the point. Right plus left equals one, uh, along with everything else. The biggest thing on those plank shoulder taps is keep your shoulders square to the ground. If you're doing it like this, where you're coming all the way up every single time, I'd rather have you shorten the range of motion and just go to the elbows instead of going all the way to the shoulders. So uh, this is written in the comment section. So if you need to write it down and then follow along with it when you go through the workout, that's a great way to do it. If you'd like some help with some extra scales, I'm gonna stick around here for a minute because I'll go through these with you. Quick note, we've got an event this Saturday at 8 a.m. We have our uh, Bring a Friend Day for boot camp. So bring friends, bring family. We'd love to have them. This is a great opportunity to check out fitness for the first time. If you have not done anything in a little while, the, the boot camp is designed to get people from point A to point B. Point A be, being doing nothing. Point B being getting fit, getting in shape, getting moving. Uh, and feeling great about it and having a team behind you to make you better. So um, if you'd like some extra help and modifications, stick around for a second. If you're ready to go, hit it hard, post your scores and your times in the comment section, and please share this with somebody that you know and love. If you've got somebody that talks about getting into shape but they just don't know what to do, this is a great starting point. This is also really good for the athlete that either can't get into the gym or needs to build some strength and stability along with their, their uh, uh, traditional programming. So thanks guys, have a great day. Get, get into Wildfire CrossFit real soon. If you'd like some extra modifications, here they are. Starting with the warm up, instead of getting the, down to the ground on the flutter kicks, we're gonna use the bench. And we're actually gonna use the bench quite a bit for this workout. And so same movement on those flutter kicks, you're just gonna get right up and just kick those legs. A chair with the back you can use. If you've got something where you don't have to lean back into it, that's gonna help really stabilize that, that core. And so just hold on to the sides and then just get that same flutter kick, do 20 reps, right plus left equals one. On the high knees, we're just gonna go from a standing position and we're just gonna bring our knees up as high as possible, we're just not impacting where we're like running in place and so one two three just as you're bringing your feet back down watch that impact because we can still stomp and that's going to bother feet ankles knees uh, all those kinds of things and so build this up and then we'll get into the impact exercises for the push-up to down dog you're going to use your trusty platform if it's a countertop, the back of the couch, something that's not going to move or slide away from you. You can even use the wall on these and that'll be totally fine. Just push up against the wall all the way down as close as you can. And then as you come up, get that little stretch. If you're using your platform right in here, keep that torso as straight as possible all the way down, right up and then stretch. Same thing if you're going from the knees. Right down, right up. 
right down, right up. Those are your down uh, push-ups to down dog. And finally, on the straight leg sit-ups, what I want you to do is the crossover, where we're going right elbow to the left knee. One, two, three, just like that. For the workout, 15-minute AMRAP, 10 single leg deadlifts. You're gonna use that trusty platform and just place your hands on there and just kick one leg out, then the other. One, two, three. If that's too easy and you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, and then come all the way up. Two, three, you get the point. So those are your single leg deadlifts on the T-bones, very similar to the flutter kick. You're just gonna bring your legs up, out, together, down. Up, out, together, down. Just do it from a sitting position instead of flat on your back. For the crunch, we're staying right here and we're just gonna bring knees into the chest and then let it go. And I do want you to hold it for just a second there. Knees into chest and then let it go. Final exercise is the plank shoulder taps. You're gonna just, same, same bench, and you're just gonna go right up and tap those shoulders. Again, just really work on keeping that torso straight from your shoulders all the way down to your heels. If you need to do this from your knees, that's totally fine too. This just isn't gonna be a lot of pressure on the arms and shoulders, but it's still gonna work some mobility and strength there. So um, again, for the rep scheme, 10 single leg deadlifts, right plus left equals one, 20 T-bones, 10 crunches, and then 20 plank shoulder taps. Again, right plus left equals one. 10, 20, 10, 20. So have fun with this one, guys. Hit it hard. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, uh, and we will be adding a lot of these to our YouTube channel so you'll have access to them anytime. So great job, and we will see you soon at Wildfire CrossFit. Thanks a lot.